Terrence Crawford feels the same way I feel. People, what's popping? Fight world. You rocky with your boy, man. The fight about to start, man. In 30 minutes, man. But I wanted to give you the thoughts of my boy, Terrence Crawford. He believes that Tyson Fury will defeat and upset your boy, Sloppy Wilder, because of the movement and the boxing ability, the length and the size. It's going to bother your boy, Deontay Wilder. And I agree. Listen, Deontay Wilder has problems with guys who are long and got good range, right? He can't walk up to them and do certain things. He doesn't have a great jab. He don't move his head. That's why Tyson Fury, all his jabs are going to land. Tyson Fury game plan is to shoot to the body, shoot to the chest. You understand me? Shoot to the shoulders. You see what I'm saying? And then you shoot the two, then shoot the three, then go to the body. You understand what I'm saying? And that's how he will be able to gather points early in this fight. People, we, we heard from Anthony Joshua, you know, having some issues or some feelings about the eye, you know, the eye opening up. And that's something we got to look at, too. You understand me? So my money is all on the wood. So I can't take it back. You see what I'm saying? So I'm hoping and praying that that don't happen. That don't derail the, my boy Tyson Fury from taking victory from his hands. It's so close, people. We only 30 minutes out, man, to see the new world champion. And my boy Tyson Fury take the belt back to where it belongs in the UK. I'm feeling real good about it, man. I'm feeling real good about it. But like Terrence Crawford said, man, jab speed always beat a guy that just got power. Just like the way Bully Smith. But he doesn't even have the power to wait bully. You see what I'm saying? Sean Porter proved that. Mikey Garcia proved that. So now you're just a basic fighter. Just like I've been saying for years now, the way Bully Spence is basic. Just like I've been saying for years now, the boy, Deontay Wilder, he's got a one hand. That's all he know how to use. He's a one-trick pony, and he doesn't have good footwork or head movement. That's why Tyson Fury will take advantage of that early in this fight. It's going to push your boy to make a decision. Deontay Wilder's going to have to make a decision and figure out whether he wants to press the action. Is he going to go you know, all out and leave everything on the line? My point is this. If Deontay Wilder has the power, just like Terrence Crawford said, that he believes he has, Right, and he believed in it, right? And he believed that Tyson Fury don't have the power. He got pillows for punches, pillows for hands, pillows for hey, I man. Then you should be able to walk him down because the punches that Tyson Fury gonna be using ain't gonna hurt you. So you should be able to walk him down. And Terrence Crawford said, because that's not the case. Because if you watch the first fight, your boy Tyson Fury was rocking Deontay Sloppy. You understand what I'm saying? He was walking in the big shots from Tyson Fury. So, you know, you know, Crawford believes like I believe. That's all garbage. That's just all talk, man. If Deontay Wilder felt different, he would walk him down. But being that, when the first bell ring, I guarantee you, you see my boy Tyson Fury on the front foot in the middle of the ring using the jab, doubling it and tripling it, going back to the corner like, yeah, I got this cocksucker. What's good out here? That's what's going to happen, people. You rocking with your boy CBT, man. If you don't got pay-per-view and you don't want to waste your money on this fight, you need to watch it with your boy CBT. You need to watch the fight with your boy CBT, man, because this is the big fight. You need somebody that's going to commentate over this thing and give you blow-by-blow action. So that's what I'm going to give you. That's what I'm going to provide to you in the next Next video, man. So we're going live. Yeah, we're about to set up. Yeah, put that over there. We're going to set up, man, and get you guys going so you guys can see the fight and you can see it through my eyes. I'm going to break it down round by round, man, because this is going to be a beautiful thing, man. But let me know your thoughts on what Terrence Crawford had to say. Do you feel the same way? Do you feel that Deontay Wilder is a one-trick pony and if he had that power, he would bring that action to my boy Tyson Fury. He will back him up against the ropes. But I'm telling you right now, just like Tyson Fury was able to overcome his eye being, you know, bleeding and the blood going into his eyes. You know what he did? He didn't stay on the outside. That's how smart yeah, my boy Tyson Fury is. He didn't stay on the outside. He got in the inside. He got in the pocket against that cock. So he can say, what's shaking? What's good? Hitting him with short hooks. Hitting him with short, short hooks the body upstairs downstairs but he was close he put his body on that cocksucker because he said you know what you're gonna have to kill me in fact that's the best thing you need to do when you're hurt on your bleeding you get close to the guy if you fight him at distance then he's able to hit a pull at that eye or whatever's injured you see what i'm saying i'm trying to give you some game man man put your money on the wall if you believe that tyson fury gonna knock out this cocksucker in the ninth round like i do man put your money on the wall if you feel cbt just talking because he got lips man put your money on the wall on the next video and hit the likes up man because we going live giving you blow by blow action man i'm so excited man give me the henny man give me the henny man put some ice in that thing you rocking with your boy cbt peace